so hey girl hey so i wanted to do a quick video and this has to be really quick because the girl actually has a date in 30 minutes less than 30 minutes so we're gonna have to make this quick but um because because i do have a date i did want to talk about um this part of my life that i don't often share I do talk about relationships and power coupling on my channel, but I don't often talk about my personal experience with dating, especially as a single mom and um, being intentional and these kind of things. And I think it's important to talk about because I often, <laughs> I tell like my friends about it and I give advice and, and these kind of things, but I don't share this aspect of my personal life. Let me turn that off on my channel but um, I wanted to start sharing it because I find it so important and um, you know I wish that I I would have received this advice when I started dating um, intentionally because I intend and desire to get married again and as a single mom and how to navigate that whole thing so yeah, I wanted to talk about it and share some of my experiences with it and what I am doing um, when it comes to dating because, um, you know, the whole journey, this whole journey on dating, because uh, I never really dated. I never really dated when, because I, I got married when I was 20 in college and so I never really had the dating experience and even so if even if I dated like in my tw like my early 20s I think that it still would be different um, because the whole game is changed <laughs> it's different and so I wanted to share my journey um, with dating at, at this part of in this you know part of my life and this time in my life um you know with kids and it's interesting my son was giving me advice <laughs> he was saying things like are you sure he's your type and you know he made me feel really good though he was because um he knew i was going on a date today and he told me that i looked really nice which was really really cute but i wanted to to talk more about this because like I said, I think it's important, especially when you're older and you've, you're have re getting into the game of dating or whatever, and you have children and how to navigate that kind of thing. Um, I do um, rotational dating, um, which is kind of like, I call them to my kids, I call them my friends. They, they don't really know that I'm like dating them, but they are, I'm going out with a friend. And, um, and so in my mind, they're more like gentleman callers. That's what I call them. It's gentleman callers. Um, you know, I did the dating one person at a time. And the problem with that is it, it wastes a lot of your time and energy and it's just not worth it. And for me, dating, all dating is, is getting to know someone and seeing if they're a right fit because my intention is to get married. My desire is to get married. It's not to just like find a long-term relationship. Now, if I was just wanting a long-term relationship, then I wouldn't see the problem with dating one person at a time and, you know, wherever that takes you but my intention is to get married and so for me I don't see the benefit to me to date one person for one to five years <laughs> and have them string me along to see if they want to marry me that doesn't make any sense to me not at my age and not at this time in my life 
And to me, dating is seeing if we're a good fit, if our lives align, if we want the same things, we, we share the same values and these kind of things. And we can have that power coupling relationships that I talk about on this channel when it comes to feminine energy, masculine energy, and how they work in harmony and all that jazz. So for me, I do rotational dating. So um, I do court and date um, different people to see, to get to know them and see if we're a good fit. You know, sometimes it's a great time and sometimes we just want different things and that's okay too. And um, what I've found is that that's just a better way to find the right partner for me. I I can turn my car off, I suppose. I had did, you know, um, initially I had a, a guy saying that he doesn't do the serial dating thing. He just wants to be exclusive. I did that. It was a big waste of time. It was a big waste of time. I will never do it again. Never do it again. Um, because, and especially at that point too, when he wanted to do that, I didn't have um, expectations for what I wanted. I didn't know what I wanted. Um, I didn't have a list of what I was looking for. I didn't have the ideal relationship that I'm looking for. So I was just kind of like, okay, okay, whatever, like whatever. And if, you know, I was being convinced and pulled into someone else's plan instead of having my own plan. And so at this point with rotational dating, I have a plan, I have a vision for my life. Um, and so meeting people, getting to learn about them and seeing if they align with my plan is how I do it. That's how I do it. I'm not going to be um, a part of someone else's plans, a part of someone else's movie. And this is why I said that in that video, um, so I don't remember what I was saying, being the star of your own movie. Sometimes I don't even remember what I said, but being the star of your own movie, that's exactly why I said that in that, um, in that video, uh, because I had encountered many times men have an idea for their life, but I didn't have an idea for my life or my, the relationship um, I mean, I had an idea that I, what I wanted, but was I making the choices that align with that? I wasn't. They were just, this is what I want. And I was just going along with it. And at this point in my life, that's not what Amber does. I'm not going to do that. Um, and also, it's also a worthiness too, thing too, is that if a man finds me worthy enough, he will step up because the problem with being a part of someone else's plan you're seeing yourself not as worthy <laughs> really really like you're you're seeing yourself not worthy of having a vision for your life and a plan for your life and I just don't play that anymore like I've learned my lessons and it's not because you know it's because I learned the hard way that that doesn't lead to what I want out of my life. And I deserve to have the life of my dreams, just like everyone else does. Now, if a, a man has a vision for his life and I don't fit that, that's okay. I'm, I don't have any hurt feelings for that either. I have plenty, I've dated plenty of guys that... Um, they had a vision they wanted just to see where things go. Okay, you go over there and do that. That's not what I'm about. So, you know, like, um, you know, oftentimes they're just like, I've, cause I played that. I've played that game where I thought we were building something. We're just going to see where things go. That's just, those are just words. It doesn't mean anything. I got 15 minutes. I got 15 minutes, girlfriend. And he's cute too. I'm excited. But, but I wanted to share that because I think that is important to 
talk about. And I often with my friends have these conversations and I'm like, girlfriend, you know, he, he wants to have that. But what is, what is it that you want? He has that plan for you guys, but is that what you want? Because being strong, I've seen this being strung along for years and not getting anywhere and getting what you want is just not worth it to me because life is too precious. Life is too precious, especially at the age that I am. And um, my kids are getting older and I want a certain life for them. I want them to have a family. I want a family and these kind of things. And so I'm very intentional and you know, with the rotation, if getting to know them and I find out that they don't meet what I'm looking for or the vision I have for my life, then, you know, they just fall away and it's okay. It's not, it's not something that I take personal or I feel like they take personal either. You know, I, I've had men say to me that I don't fit what they need in their life, what they're looking for. And that's okay too. And I'm like, thank you for not wasting my time. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Go ahead and seek whatever you're finding or looking for. And so I, I wanted to share that because I think it's important to, again, to talk about because we don't talk about these things and afraid like I'm like looking because because we don't talk about these things because we're afraid to be judged or you know and so we find ourselves in traps now the, the reason why I'm sharing this too is because I wish I knew this some of this stuff I wish that I could have avoided lost time loss of energy and you know honestly the loss of energy is the biggest thing like losing your sanity sometimes when you're in certain relationships um, that lead to, to nowhere, that lead nowhere and are just toxic and you, you have your hopes up and all these things and they just don't lead anywhere. You know, keeping your options open and being intentional, knowing what you want, having a plan for your life and knowing that you are worthy of that vision you have for your life is so important and I think that we don't do that enough we want we don't our worthiness here's the thing I feel like a lot of women and I was here too my my self-worth was so low that I was like I didn't feel worthy of my own vision for my life my own plan what I wanted I was going along with other people's plans and what they wanted. And that's not how you should live your life. And I, and I preach that in being the star of your own movie. You know, that's why. Um, so yeah. And, you know, it's been working out uh, beautifully. And I'll tell you one thing about rotational dating. And this is what's helped me tremendously. And this is the biggest thing is that I learned a lot about men. I learned a lot about men. That was the biggest thing. If I continue to try to focus on one man and all this stuff, then I would be, I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have about men and how they think and how they are and what they're looking for. And so these kind of things, I just feel, and it also taught me to what is possible, what is it I don't want, and what it is that I do want. And that's beautiful because some things that I thought that did not exist, I found do, exi do exist. And some things that I didn't realize that were a big turnoff to me, our big turnoff to me. And so it really taught me a lot about myself and what I want for my life and what works well with me. 
because perhaps I wasn't quite sure what really worked well. And so when you date multiple people at the same time, you realize some things that make you feel good. Like that was the thing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't connect with him. But then I'm like, okay, that's why I couldn't connect with him because he was missing this. And this is what I really need. And this is what I desire. And this is what feels good to me. And it's not a bad thing. And I think that guys do it and they, it's a thing, but women have this like, um, I got to be loyal to one person. And I'm like, it's not about that. You're like, you're not married. <laughs> it's about your life and what you really want for your life and learning about yourself. Cause I learned so much about myself and I am still learning about myself in this whole process. And so that's something that I wanted to share more on this channel is this whole thing of dating and the experience of it. And as a single mom and all of that jazz. And I think that it's important because especially when <laughs> you, and I talk about manifest, I mean, this all goes in like in line with what you want when you intend for your life, when you intend, you have to know what you want. And I say this all the time in my videos. You know, we say these like vague things about our lives, like well, we want an amazing life. We want amazing love. But what does that look like? You can't know what that looks like if you don't experience it. That's why it's important is you got to experience and engage with life to know life. Wow, that was kind of good. You got to engage with life to know life. And so when you're doing these things and you're meeting these different people and you're having fun and you're realizing what feels good to you and, you know, other things about yourself, then you are better equipped to really laser focus on this is exactly what I want for my life. And once you become clear and you gain that clarity, then you just you have a map to move forward in your life. It's easier to navigate your life from clarity and clearness than moving forward in the dark because you have no clue what you want. You're engaged in a toxic relationship that doesn't seem like it's going anywhere and you're just frustrated and you're like, you're wanting to marry this person even though you know that you fight all the time. Uh-oh, what's going on? Oh, my battery. And all these things. And that's why it's important. We have to do these kind of things. We have to talk about these kind of things. So we can have an amazing life. <laughs> like the last thing I want. Is to continue. With things that don't serve me. And you know. You can't know. Until you know. And how you going to know girlfriend. How you going to know. I didn't know what existed until I started experiencing it. I thought this is with how life, when you're in a certain environment, until you get out of that environment and you start um, exploring and engaging with life, you don't know what exists. You don't know what exists for you, the possibilities, and the possibilities are infinite for you. But you got to explore, you got to engage with life. And I would suggest this kind of thing to anyone. I mean, when you're young and you're in your teenager, your early 20s and things like that, you might not be looking for marriage or anything like that. I mean, have fun, do the thing, have fun. But if you're intentional, you have a vision for your life. You got to explore it, you got to engage with it, you got to uh, experience these things. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share that. Um, I might do more videos on dating and my experiences with it. And I'll tell you one thing. I learned a lot about people. I learned a lot about myself and it is just great 
feedback. It is great feedback on building an amazing life for yourself. It is amazing. And like, I tell you one thing, I would not be so clear and intentional if I didn't have those experiences. Um, so yeah. Anyways, girlfriend, that's all, you know, kind of vulnerable for me to share, but I wanted to share it. I think it's important to start talking about it. You know, I don't often go deep into my personal life, but I'll tell you, I learned so much and I think I want to share it. I really do because I really feel like this is so important to share, you know, as women, as people, as mothers, as these kind of things. So anyways, you guys, that's all. My battery, is it still about to die? Sorry. Anyways, you guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And I got five minutes. I'll check you guys later. Peace.